The following episode of Dad vs. Daughter Playthroughs was made possible by a contribution from Tasty Minstrel Games. Hello and welcome to another episode of Dad vs. Daughter. I'm Tim the Dad. I'm Megan the Daughter. And today we are playing Eminent Domain, which is a deck building game from Tasty Minstrel Games. Now... This game is very similar to uh, Race for the Galaxy in that you're going to be selecting roles and you're going to be exploring planets and you're going to be either going a military route or you're colonizing, you're going to produce on the planets. Uh, that may seem kind of overwhelming, but really it's not. It's actually a fairly simple game. So uh, like a lot of other deck building games, you are both going to start with the same cards in your hand. You're going to have 10 cards and I'll show you what those are. You're going to have one warfare card. You're going to have two research cards, two survey cards, one politics card, and I'll talk about this in a second. two produce trade cards, and two colonize cards. And you'll also know that that is what we also have here on our board. So what we are going to do is we are going to be taking actions and um, roles. having roles. And when we take an action, that's only something or something that only we can do. When we do a role, that is going to be something that each of the other players are going to be able to do. Now, we've got these nice cardboard uh, turn markers that kind of outline how the turn goes. You, you have your first thing is your action, where you play a card from your hand and you do the action effect on the card. And if you want to look at the card here, you'll see that the card has an action area and it tells you what to do. And it also has a roll area and it tells you what to do. Also, it has the leader bit. So if you are the, the one who... Uh, initiated this role, you're going to be able to get to do this part. So that is the second thing here is the role. We're going to choose a role and when we do that we're going to choose a card from one of these stacks here. And that's how we're going to build our deck. And then the last thing is the cleanup where we're basically going to, all the cards that we played we're going to put in our discard pile if you are that player that was the leader that round. The other players don't actually do that until it's on their turn. So uh, let's talk about this politics card because that's the one that you don't see on the board there. The politics card basically is going to allow you to play that as your action. And then what you're going to be able to do is take one of the other cards here on the board um, to whatever your strategy is. If, you know, if you're going to go warfare and you want an extra warfare card or whatever. Uh, basically, it's just a way to get an extra card that you want. So the... The way you win the game is by having the most points, obviously, but the way the game ends is different. You are either going to signify the end of the game when, in a two-player game, you deplete one of the stacks here in the middle, or we have no more of these uh, point tokens. When these are all gone, and there's a, a limited number, when these are gone, then that's going to trigger the end of the game. So each player is going to be able to take the same number of turns. So when the end of turn condition comes up, say if I'm the first player and I kick that off, then Megan's going to be able to have a chance to have one final turn. And when you have more players, then obviously those people are going to be able to, to have one last turn too. Uh, another thing to talk about is the... Uh, cards that you see here. These are cards that we are going to basically purchase also to put in our deck and they give us other special abilities. Now the thing to get with these cards is this is the cost and this is a, the cost in the research cards that you have to have. So in order to get this card I have to have uh, three research. Now the other thing I have to do is I have to have one of these types of planets already explored. And we'll kind of talk about the planets here. So we have three different types of planets. We have the fertile planets, which kind of looks Earth-like. We have the metallic planet, which is kind of Mars-like. And we have the advanced planet, which is kind of uh, Saturn-ish because of the rings. Now, the things with the planets, if you look on the back side here, 
they they'll tell you what kind they are but in order to um, basically claim these planets when you do a survey action you're going to be taking these and putting them into your empire but you'll notice on the cards there's a like a little black ship spaceship and then there's like this um, this is a colony icon there and you'll it matches the colony or the colonized card in order to claim this planet you either have to attack this with five spaceships or colonize it with four colonies this one you'll see has you need six ships this one you only need three colonies and this one you need four and five now when you either colonize or you attack the planet and claim it into your empire then you flip it over and you'll notice that you're going to have different things you're going to be able to do this one at the end of the game is going to be worth two additional victory points but this little icon here tells you that you're going to be able to have one extra card in your hand it also has a uh, placeholder down here so this planet you can actually produce a good on and then trade it later this metallic one here it is only it's worth four victory points at the end and it also gives a extra military icon so we'll talk about how these icons come into play uh, during the roll phase when we get there and this one here you'll see that this is worth three points whoops three additional points at the end it actually has a produce icon and you can produce uh, or it's got a placeholder for a good going back to these uh, advanced technology cards there are different types and a couple of them have the same uh, one so you know you could either get a couple of these in your deck or the opponent could but um, let's see let's get to where like this one here you actually have to have two fertile planets in your empire in order to uh, buy this card and it also costs more uh, in research and it, but you'll notice that it's got two of the uh, production icons on there so you'll be able to use that to boost your role later on and then there's also uh, permanent abilities or permanent uh, technologies that you'll be able to have and these are double-sided so there's actually uh, two for each of the different piles and each pile is broken out by planet side or planet type so you'll have a, a one for fertile one for metallic and one for uh, advanced but some of the cards actually are in the same decks so uh, kind of spreads things out a little bit other ones they are going to give you abilities and I'll show you kind of what this one does. For instance, this one says uh, collect one influence from the supply. So an influence is your victory point. So you're going to get a little, little token for that. This one here says draw one card and remove up to two cards uh, from your hand or in your hand from the game. There are other ones. Let's see. This one here says uh, collect two fighters or attack one planet. And this is nice because it's got both a, a, a production and a warfare icon on it. So you kind of get the idea. Here's This one says draw three cards. So depending on what your strategy is for the game, uh, really will probably determine what type of the technology cards you get. Okay, so let's talk about the individual cards here. When you do an action, and that's what we'll cover right now. So the action for a survey is you get to draw two cards from your deck. The action from a warfare is you can either attack one planet or you can gain a fighter. For colonize, you can either settle a planet. And what settle means is when you have a planet and you have, you've played uh, the colonize thing, you put the colonies underneath like this. And when you settle, as long as you match what the uh, colonize requirement is, then you can flip that card over. The produce and trade is it allows you the you get to choose one or the other the produce is you produce one uh one resource on one planet the trade is you can trade one resource on a planet for one of the uh basically the victory points and then the research action allows you to remove two cards from your hand from the game so that's a way to thin out your uh thin out your deck now let's talk about the roles the role of the survey is it's going to allow you to look at cards from the planet deck and we'll talk about that more when we actually get to get to do that the role of the warfare is you can collect a fighter for every icon uh, warfare icon that you have or you can uh, attack a planet colonize you can either add one colony for every 
colonize icon that you have, or you can settle a planet. The produce and trade basically is the same thing, except you get to boost those. So if you have more of those cards in your hand that have the icons, then you're going to be able to either produce X amount of resources or trade X amount of resources. And then on the research role is that's where you're going to use those to buy the advanced technologies. So I think it covers mm -hmm. about everything, doesn't it, Megan? Yeah. Okay. So the way you decide who goes first is not by age or who's older or who's younger. Thank goodness, because <laughs> the old definitely get hosed in that regard. Which is nice, because that always means I can go first, unless I feel generous that day. But for this game, you use the turn phase cards, and you have as many players. So you have two turn phase cards here, and then on the back... One is the start player, so you basically mix them up and then just randomly give them out or the other person picks, and that's how you decide. So that's kind of a nice little element there. Yep. The other thing, too, is there are uh, starting planets that there are six different ones, and we are going to randomly assign those. Okay, so to start the game, we're going to have two of the six random car or, uh, planets that we're going to hand to each other. So or hand out. So Megan, you get that one. I get this one. Pick one of those? Uh, let's see. Let's pick this one. Survey says, ah, Megan gets to go first. <laughs> I think you rigged that. No, I didn't even look at them. Okay. So we all have the same number of cards and the same, the actual same cards in our hand. Yep. So what we're going to do is we're going to shuffle those up and then we are going to draw a hand of five cards. Now the hand limit is five, but that's what you have to have at the end of your turn. So when you do the cleanup phase, you have to be back down to what the hand limit size is and we showed you that some of the planets actually are allow you to increase that um, but as you play the game sometimes you're going to have more sometimes you're going to have less most of the time you're going to have less but all right megan so you've got your five cards yep. go ahead and start off okay i'm going to for my action which is optional you don't have to do it but i am so i'm going to do warfare so i'm going to collect a fighter and then for my role I'm going to survey, and you can boost your role, not your action, but your role, if you have other cards of the same type in your hand. Right, so what that is going to allow you to do, since Megan has three of them, and she is the leader for this role, she's going to be able to look at the top three cards of the planet deck, choose which one that she wants to keep, and then she's going to discard the other two. Now, I can follow, but the problem with the survey is that anyone who follows has to have at least two of the survey icons. So I only actually have one survey card in my hand. So, because it'll tell you on the roll, it says look at uh, survey icons minus one planet cards, and then you get to keep one. Well, since I only have one, that's not going to do me a bit of good. So what I'm going to do, since I can't follow that roll, I'm going to do what they call descent, which I don't really know why they call it that. It's kind of an odd thing, but basically what that means is I get to draw one card from my deck and put it into my hand. Hey, wouldn't you know it? I get a second survey. Well, think so. of it like that. If you're in your little spaceship, you know, and you're flying, you're either going to follow the other lead spaceship or you're going to, like, take a different course and you're going to descend. Okay. See? We'll go with that. that. I mean, it's a space thing. I'm trying to make logic of it. Okay. Okay, so your turn. So you've done your cleanup. The yes. other thing on your cleanup is whatever cards you have in your hand that you don't want, you can discard those and then draw back up to your hand mm -hmm. limit. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to play survey as my action. Okay. So that's going to allow me to draw two cards. And then what I want to do is I think for my roll, I'm going to choose colonize. Okay. So I'll take a colonize card and I'm going to boost that with another colonized card, and I will put that under this planet. So next turn, I'm going to be able to settle this planet because it only takes two to colonize. So I'm gonna let's see, one, two, there. three, four, five, six. I have to actually get rid of one card uh, at least, but I'm going to get rid of more cards. I'm going to get rid of... Um, actually, I'm going to get rid of these four cards here and draw three more and that will put me to five. Okay. I actually have to uh, shuffle my cards here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, my action is going to be warfare, so I'm going to take another ship or fighter, and my role 
is I'm going to make a survey and I'm going to boost that. So would you like to follow? No, I can't, so I will descend. Okay. <laughs> and I did it again to draw that <laughs> survey card. Okay. So your turn. Okay. Well, for my action, I'm going to go ahead and settle a planet because I have two on this. So when I settle it, I'm going to flip it over. And then those cards then just go into my discard pile. So then I think for my action, I think what I'll do is um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to survey. Okay. And I'm going to boost that. So I'm going to be able to look at the top three cards. You're doing survey? I'm doing or survey. I'm doing descent. Uh, I think I'm going to go with this one here. Okay. And put that right there. So that was my roll. Okay. Um, let's get Clean rid up. of that and draw three cards. Okay, so my action, I'm going to go ahead and use the politics card and get out of the way. So I'm going to make that a warfare card, and that card goes into your hand. And the politics card then is removed from play yep. for the rest of the game. Okay, so then I am going to use that as my roll. Yeah, not that, that, not that. Do that. So I'm going to. Are you going to boost it then? No, I'm not going to boost. I'm going to save it. So I'm going to fight this attack opponent. So I'm going to attack back okay. for two, and then I will put that over here in my yeah. empire. Yeah, because it's, you don't boost it if you're gonna, yeah. if you're just going to attack. Okay. Um, I didn't descent, so I I need to you actually shuffle my cards and descent. Okay. I think for my roll, this is what I'm going to do, or for my, excuse me, for my action. Is I'm going to colonize. So I'm going to colonize that planet there. Okay. And then for my roll, I am going to. Hmm. I don't want to really help you out. You could. Well, for my roll, I'm also going to choose colonize. No, I'll just. And I can't boost it. So mm -hmm. I'll just colonize right there. And I am going to. Let's see. Let's get rid of these three and draw three more cards. Okay. Um, 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 um. I'm going to survey for my action, so I'm going to draw two cards. And then I am going to do, for my roll, I'm going to do warfare and I'm going to boost it. I will ships. descent. Okay. I think for my roll, I'm going to play my politics card and I'm going to take a colonize card. So we'll remove that from the game. And then for my, uh, that was my action. Yeah. For my roll, I will also take a colonize. Descent. And I will put two more colonies on this planet so that next turn it will be ready to be settled. Okay. Let's get rid of, let's see. Get rid of those three and draw three more cards. Okay, for my action, I am. I'm gonna produce, so I'm gonna produce this. And for my roll, I'm gonna do warfare and boost it. Do you like to follow? Uh, yeah, I have no mm -hmm. warfare, so I'm going to descent. Okay. And I gotta shuffle and draw. So your turn. Okay. So for my action, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to settle this world since I have four colonies on it. And this one has the, uh, the advantage of increasing my hand size by one. So that's nice there. So that was my action. Mm -hmm. Now for my roll, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do survey and I'm going to boost that. So I'm going to look at the top three cards here. And let's see, is anything better than the other? I think I like this card, I think. The other thing, when you look at the planet cards, not only should you look at what the planet has to offer when you claim it, but also what it takes in order to claim it. These actually are all identical, so it doesn't really matter. So I'll take that one okay. and discard those two. Cool. And let's see, do I want to get rid of anything else? You know what, I'm gonna get rid of that and draw four cards. Okay. Uh, my action, I'm going to collect a fighter, and for my roll, I'm going to do warfare again, and I'm going to attack 
this plant because I have five now. You know what? I'm gonna actually follow you on the worker, okay. and I'm gonna take a take a ship here. All right. You need to clean up. Okay. Your turn. Okay. I'm gonna pass my action because that's, that's the only part that's optional. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and do choose my role, and I'm going to do the produce. So oh. and I'm going to boost that. So I'm going to actually be able to put mind, two here. And let's do my cleanup. Let's get rid of these two, and I'll draw four cards. Okay. Thought you were going for trade, so I am going to trade this one in for a point. And then my roll, I'm gonna do warfare again, and I'll get three ships or fighters. You gonna follow? You gonna descend? You did warfare. Yes. I'm gonna have to descend. Okay. Okay. Well, for my uh, my action, mm -hmm. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do trade. Okay. And I'm gonna trade this little uh, roll aids looking thing. Roll aids. Right. For one point. It's like a sweet tart almost. Yeah, they really kind of look like sweet tarts. They're not the sour sweet tarts though. Yeah. Okay. So <laughs> for my roll, I'm going to choose colonize. And I am going to boost that to the moon because I actually have four colony cards in my hand. Boost it so to the moon. So I'm going to boost it to the moon. So I'm going to put that there and that will already have five colonies on it. So I'm going to get rid of that card and draw five new ones. Is there Did you want to follow or descent? Yeah. You was there a Jadoon platoon upon the moon? The Jadoon platoon Jadoon upon, upon the moon. The moon. Um, 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 uh, on my action, I'm going to produce a resource. And for my roll, I am going to survey. And I'm going to boost that. So I got four. Yeah, I'll be dissenting that. Okay. Okay, so you're all done cleanup. Yep. Okay, it. well, for my action, I'm gonna settle. I don't think that came as a surprise to anyone there. <laughs> and this planet actually has an extra produce symbol on there, so which is nice. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I am going to go ahead and I'm gonna choose produce as my roll, and I'm gonna boost that. Actually, I don't even need to boost it because I have that already. So I'll take a yeah. purple and a green. Okay. Um, and that'll be my turn. I'll clean up. And okay. Did you? Uh, I'm descending. descending. Yes, descent. Um, okay. So my action, I'm going to produce that resource. And for my roll, I'm going to do warfare. I'm going to boost that, and I'm going to get. Four ships. Did you like to follow or descend? Well, I make it really hard to decide on this. Why? But I think I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to descend. Okay. Okay. So, my turn. Yep. Okay. Uh, for my action, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to survey. So, I'm going to draw two cards. Okay. And that didn't work out as well as I <laughs> hoped it would. It is a good shuffle. So there's my two cards from that, and they were not what I wanted. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to choose trade okay. as my I will dissent. roll, and I have the pro. No, that's not a trade. No. But I do have those two extra ones, so I'm going to trade these three in, okay. and that's going to get me three points. Three points. Nice. There. And now, one, two, up. three, four, five, six. I have six. I have the plus yep. one, so I'm actually okay. But do I want to get rid of some here? Um, mm. Yeah, you know what? I do want to get rid of some. I'm going to get rid of... Actually, I'm going to get rid of those five. Okay. Um, my action, I'm going to um, attack a planet. And I have, let's see, three, four, five, six. So I... I'm going to attack this one right here and put that in my empire. And then, You're going all Metallica, aren't you? Yeah. Um, People might think you like Metallica. 
don't think I've ever actually listened to your music. Enter Sandman? No, no. It's you, probably too heavy metal for you. I don't like screaming stuff and loud music. Um, my action? Yeah, my action. I'm going to colonize. Do you want to follow him? Well, considering I have nothing to colonize, I'll I will know. I'm just asking. I'm being polite. And I draw a colonized card. No, thanks. Okay. Your turn. My turn. Your okay. Turn. So, for my action, um, you know what? My action, I am going to produce. And I'm just going to produce right there on my metallic planet. And then for my roll, I'm going to choose research. Whoops. And I'm going to boost that. So I can look at any one of the uh, single planet cards. Actually, I can look at all of them, but mm -hmm. I can choose from one of the single planet cards that cost three. So let me figure out what I want to do with that. Okay, the, tar the card that I actually chose was the improved production because I had one red planet and it cost three of the research. So I have that. So that actually goes directly into my hand. Okay. So I'll be able to take advantage of that next turn. So let's do the cleanup. We'll get rid of those. And you know what? I think I'm actually going to get rid of uh, these three as well and draw four cards. Okay. And back to shuffling. That's the thing with deck builders. You're yeah. always shuffling. Um, for my action, I'm going to produce. I'm going to reach over here. And for my roll, I'm going to colonize. And you can't, so that's okay. So no, that's, that's a pretty smart thing to do. Next turn, I can settle this. Well, I will dissent from your colonization. Oh, I could have had six cards. I didn't even realize that. Oops. <laughs> I'm sure one of our uh, viewers probably already spotted that. Maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. I didn't even make a point of it. Okay. If he did, the brand points for you. Okay. All right. For my action, I'm going to take advantage of that advanced technology card for improved production. And I'm going to actually produce two resources. So I'm going to produce there and there. And then for my, uh, my action, or my, my role... I'm going to choose the trade. Descent for me. And unfortunately, I only have one other one, so I'm only going to be able to trade these two and get two points. Okay. So, clean up. let me look at my cleanup here. Let's get rid of those and those. I'll draw five cards back up. Okay. Um, my action is going to be warfare, so I'm going to collect a little fighter. And my roll is going to be colonized, so I can settle this I planet. Will hey, it's not a metallic planet. And I descent and I pull a colonize. That's what happens. Well, I don't have any planets to colonize anyway. Mm -hmm. That's good for you. Good for me. Okay, your turn. I think I'm going to just go ahead and I'm going to do a trade. Okay. And I'm going to trade this one here. For your action? For my action, okay. yes. So that's my action, and then I think for my uh, well, roll, I'm going to survey. I will follow with that one. And I'm going to boost that. So I'm going to look at three cards. Three, two. Uh, you, do you have a... Oh, you had four. Okay. Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> so you're good. Yeah. Because, you know, sometimes i got to watch her. Not that often. You kind of like that one. I like this one. I like that one, too. Hmm. Uh, oh man, decisions, decisions. I think I'm going to go with this one. Okay. Um, clean up. So that was that, and let's see. Yeah, I'm just trying to draw off two. Okay, my action, I'm going to produce that resource and put that there. And you mean trade? Trade, yeah, not produce. Um, my roll, I'm going to do warfare. Ooh, that one's upside down. And I will descent. And I have boost that by five. So I can get five ships from that. So there we go. So clean up. I'm just going to draw back up. Your turn. Okay. I think for my roll is I am going to go ahead and I will do a produce. Okay. So we've got a little production engine going thing going here. And then for my roll, I'm going to research. 
and I will boost that there. So your roll? My roll is on researching. Descent. Let's see, where is that card? Basically the same card I took last time, I'm taking this time. Okay. So it's gonna go right in there. And clean up. So clean up, let's get rid of those and one, two, three, four, five, and draw one card. Okay. Um my action is going to be warfare and I have six ships so I can attack this planet. There and then my roll. I'm gonna survey. And I'm gonna boost that. I will descent. Okay. Do the same thing. So that's cool. And okay. And clean up. I'll just draw back up. Okay. Your turn. All right. So for my action, I'm gonna play this improved production, and okay. it's gonna allow me to produce two resources. So put those there. And then for my roll, I will choose colonize. Okay. And I will put down a bunch of colonize. <laughs> Do you wish to for follow? For your roll, I will descend. Okay. Now I will. Do a little clean up here. Let's get rid of that and draw four more cards. My action, I'm going to produce. And for my roll, I'm going to do warfare again. And I'm going to boost that. And you are just going all out warfare, aren't you? I haven't done this. I have a new strategy. It's kind of working out for me. So I'm liking it. There's a number of strategies that you can use. I mean, you can go the warfare route where like you're I getting am. ships. You can go the production route, which is kind of what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. um, Just colonization a bunch. I mean, colonization survey. I did that. Yeah. All right, so for my action, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to settle this planet. Okay. So let's get rid of those. And for my action, uh, I am going to do trade. I will descent. And I am going to boost that and trade these three. Or three more points. Cool. And then I will get rid of those and draw three cards. Okay, my action, I'm going to attack this planet with four ships. And put that there. And my roll, I'm going to survey and boost that. I will descend. Okay, ooh, we're <laughs> out, out, of, out of planets in the deck. Well, when you run out of planets, you just shuffle the discard and that becomes the new deck. I'm gonna use that one and start the new discard deck. Okay, and clean up. I'm just gonna draw back up. There we go. All right. Um, let's see. I think what I will do is, um, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to survey. Okay. For your action. For my action. Not really what I wanted. <laughs> so for my role, I'm gonna choose research. Decent. And I actually have, ooh, I even have that one too, so I can actually hang on to that. So that'll be five research. Yeah. So let me see what I want for five. Okay, the advanced technology card I chose is diverse markets. So you'll notice that it requires two of the advanced planets, which I have, and five research. Uh, it also grants two victory points at the end of the game. But what it does is it gives me plus one influence for each type of resource that I trade that turn. So as I'm cranking through my production and my trade engine here, when I play this card, I'm going to get a little bit uh, extra boost. So uh, that will go into my hand and do my cleanup. Okay. My action for the next turn. Whoa, I just wiped out my planets. That's a problem. Uh, um, so what else I want to get rid of here? I'm going to produce this for a point. And, or trade, not produce. I keep calling it that. Um, and my my roll is going to be warfare again. I'm going to boost that. So I'm going to get five ships. Actually, I don't want to boost that all the way. Take back one more here. Boost it three times. There we go. You clean up. I'll just draw up. What did you do for your roll? My roll, I did warfare. If you would like to. Uh, I will descent from okay. that. Okay. And your turn. Okay. So for my action, I will do the improved production. So I'm going to produce two resources. So we'll just produce that and that. 
And then I will, for my action, or my roll, sorry, I will, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do a uh, produce. Okay. So I have two icons there, so I will produce a green, oops, mm -hmm. and a purple. Okay. Did you descent For or did you follow? Producing? producing. No, I'll descent. Okay, so I'll get rid of those and clean up and let's see what else I want to get rid of. My action is going to be worth it. I'm going to attack this planet for five ships. And my roll, I'm going to survey and boost it by one. So would you like to follow? Survey, I will descent. Okay. Back up okay. okay. So for my action, I'm going to play Diverse Markets. Okay. So I'm going to get plus one influence for each type of resource that I trade this turn. Well, I've only got three different types, so which makes sense because there are actually there's four different types. So for my roll, I'm going to choose trade. Okay. So um, I will actually trade all four of those in. So I'm gonna get four points for that. So one, two, three, four. And I'm gonna get plus one for each different type. So I'm gonna get another three just for that. Okay. So just so you know, Megan, there are only three influence tokens left. Okay, you've got a lot of them. Um, my, um, my action, I'm gonna colonize here. And for I'm gonna do that also as my roll, and I'm gonna boost it by one, and I have one here, so that will be ready to settle next turn. I actually have enough cards in my deck now that I can shuffle, shuffle this way. It's <laughs> a good thing. So you want to colonize or? Um, yeah. Do you I can... want to colonize? You don't have anything to colonize. No, I'll descend. That's good. <laughs> okay, your turn. Actually, I have a handful of colony cards. Okay, um, I think what I'm going to do is I am going to survey as my action. Okay. So I'll draw two cards, and not what I wanted at all. <clears throat> but what I will do is I will go ahead and I will choose produce as my roll. So, and I have an extra production there, so I'm going to be able to produce on all four of my planets. And then I am going to get rid of all those and draw up. Okay, my action, I'm going to settle this planet right to there. Then it gives me an extra warfare bonus. And my roll, I'm going to survey and boost it by one. So I will get these two. And I'll take this one. You got to follow and survey? Survey? You know, I could. Are you going um, to? You know what, I think I will, okay. because I actually have two survey icons there, so I'll only get to look at this one, and put that one down there. Okay. Alright, so now my turn. Yep. Um, not as many as I want, but that's okay. I'm going to play Diverse Markets. For my action, okay. it gives me an influence token for each of the research, each type of research resource that I trade this turn. I will choose trade as my roll and I will uh, bump it there but that's only going to allow me to trade two. So I'm actually going to trade these two and that's going to get me two and mm -hmm. then since I traded two I'm going to get uh, two different I'm going to get two uh, influence points. Now I took the last one there that's why these special ones with the blue background come in because uh, they're still only worth one point but that is going to they're going to be used at the uh, when the other ones are depleted so since I was, I was first. you were first so actually that is the game yep so we'll tally the points up and see who gets this space trophy
All right, well, Dad gets the space trophy for this one. Uh, this was actually a pretty close game. I had 31 points. Megan, how many did you have? 29. 29. So a two-point swing. Um, we both went different strategies. I went produce and trade. Megan went military and was racking up warfare. the... Or warfare. I keep wanting to call it military. Uh, but yeah, you racked, you racked up the uh, the points on your uh, your planets. I mean, you only had four influence tokens, but look at all the planets you had. I mean, I had four, and you had... Uh, what, eight. eight, so yeah, had had twice, five. twice five as many. Five. Yeah, that helped. And you also had a couple of fours, I think. Yeah. All mine were, I think, twos. I I had two twos and two threes. Yeah, two twos. I had two twos. Nice. Okay, so let's get to what we think. As a deck builder, I like it. Uh, I like that the that you can go these different strategies. I mean. You could go the colony route too. I mean, we we showed the, the two kinds there, but you could go colony and you could just keep getting planets galore. Um, I I like the the simplicity of the game. Really, I mean, it can be a little daunting at first just because of the you know you use this card for an action, but then you have these different things for your roles. But I think once you get your first game under your belt, you know, it's it becomes second nature. Uh, I don't get into the advanced technologies too much, but uh, I was able to help, you know, with that diverse markets thing. Once I got my engine going, that really helped because that gave me uh, more points. So it's it's really a matter of which ones of these help you with the strategy that you're going to go with. Uh, and there's, you know, all sorts of different kinds there. Megan, what do you think? Um, I do like this as a deck builder game. The only deck building games I've really played are Legendary and Star Realms. So this is, um, it's different. I mean, it's similar to Star Realms and like the space atmosphere, but it's completely different mechanics and, um, how you play the cards. Like you're not aiming here to destroy your opponent in this game as you are in Star Realms. You're wanting to get more points. So that kind of changes how you strategize for it. And sometimes it becomes a race. Mm -hmm. Um, because I knew that once I got my engine going, I was going to be collecting these uh, influence tokens. And once they're gone, then that signifies the end. The other thing is I was getting close to yeah. depleting this stack as well. There was, uh, what, maybe five cards left there. Mm -hmm. um, I was close to Warfare, but I sorted out my deck and put them back. So yeah. it doesn't really show it, but I was. Okay. Yeah. Um, but production wise, I mean, the card stock is really mm -hmm. high quality. I mean, this this is yeah. good card stock. The art on the card uh, on the cards, I think, is really cool. I like the planet artwork. I think that's cool. The ships, there's actually three different types of ships. Four, I think. Well, there's three. There's, mm. and these don't come into play until uh, we get into the uh, the expansion. But in the base game, a ship is a ship. But let me show you here, and these are just black plastic pieces here um but but i mean they're they're really good quality i mean that's kind of that's thick plastic and you know you can make these go flying around if you want to it's not pew, 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 pew. you know okay. you can do things like that <laughs> um, but but they're really cool the um resource tokens they're nice they're wooden they're painted they're really nice they're smooth the uh the central organization mm -hmm cart board here or whatever i'm gonna make a mess here yeah you did but uh but this is actually pretty cool you know it, it folds up and fits inside the box nice and there's artwork um, on the back oh yeah look at that yeah. never even look at the back of the board oh, yeah. but uh no i mean you know it looks just like the cards uh this is really thick cardboard so mm -hmm. it's not flimsy at all uh it looks really nice yeah. tasty minstrels did a really good job in this um i like it it's it's going to be a game, I think, that we play a lot of, especially, mm -hmm. you know, we like Legendary, we like Star Realms. Sometimes we want to play that type of game, but we want a little bit of different flavor. Yeah. Um, and Star Realms, you seem like you kick my butt that a lot. It's so. such a quick game because I do dominate, and Legendary takes a while. This is like the perfect time for a game. It's like in between both of them. Yeah, and I would say that this, we're pretty pretty even on this. Mm -hmm. I mean, you you and I have won about the, the equal yeah. number of games. It just so happens to be that I won the game that we filmed, so... Yeah. Uh, cause the, the first, you know, after we got past the teaching game, the first game, I think you trounced me. That's like um, normally what happens. You teach me a game and I do not understand the first game, second game. I'm like, boom, I got it. Yeah. But at least I didn't call this by a different name. Uh, yeah, I call but, it you know, 
Yeah, you know, I've done that before. But uh, no, this is a really good game. It's it's an older game. It's been out for a few years. Um, but you can go out to Tasty Minstrel or you can get it. Your local game store may have it. Yep. Uh, it it's fun. It's easy. Uh, that's about all I can say. It's a good game. Good game. So... We are going to keep trekking on through some space games, so we will catch you guys next time. Bye. Like and follow us on Facebook to stay current on our show schedule, sneak peeks at future shows, and to interact with us. Thank you.